Welcome to Biotechnology Scale Training. If you are watching this video, then let me be first to say, CONGRATULATIONS! You've been recently asked to weigh specific substances at specific measurements in the Biotechnology Laboratory, and this is your first official day of training. Can we weigh substances now? No, no, you've got a lot to learn to be able to weigh substances. As you can see in this step-by-step -step directions page, you can see that it takes a lot of steps to successfully rate any substance, but you can't finish learning these steps overnight. Just kidding, you can. Sounds impossible, right? <laughs> no! Now let's get started with the training. To keep up with today's technology and simplicity, the Biotech Lab offers two scales in which you can choose from. The analytical scale, and the tabletop balance. Now Ryan, how about we see if you know everything about the analytical scale? Okay, here we have the analytical balance. Now, as you can see, this balance is very tall and has three different opening contraptions. There's one on the top and two on the side. You should only use the two on the side, never the one on top, because if you just scoop your substances into the scale, you'll just make a mess and it'll get all over the scale, and we don't like dirty scales. So you should always use the side doors. Now, I will tell you how you should prepare your balance before you start measuring substances. All right, so before we start weighing substances, substances let me tell you how to, you know, Start off by turning on and weighing out your weight book. So, as I said, there's a little black circle and an air bubble. Now, what you want to do, if that's not in the circle, you have these four legs on the bottom of the analytical scale. And what you want to do is twist these until you get to the uh, air bubble into the black circle. Now, as I work on this, this should be getting closer to the center. All right, so that's starting to move to the center. And that's, that's good. So make sure your air bubble is right in the center of the black circle. Now, start off. Now, now you want to start off by pressing the on button. And your scale should turn on. But first, it will do, it will do its um, computer ca ca calibrations. As soon as all the zeros pop up, it's ready to go. Now, it's ready to go. Now, all insert your weigh boats and by the way you always want to use weigh boats never use weigh paper because you, you shouldn't and always use a weigh boat because that's the best thing to use for this scale now as you can see the weigh boat is taking up space space well it's taking up mass and it's causing a measurement so it weighs 2.15 grams if you only want to weigh one gram of let's say uh, copper sulfate then you're not going to get to one gram, you're going to get to 3.15 grams, but you don't want that. So press the on button again, and that's the zero function. So it's going to take out the weight of that, so when you place your copper sulfate, it will only weigh the uh, mass of the copper sulfate instead of adding both. So, then that's what you do. So as a recap, well before we go to the recap, make sure your doors, your doors are always closed because any slight breeze with the doors open will affect your measurement. So as you see, if I do a little air, you'll see the numbers change. Yes, so breeze is a major factor for measuring these things. So make sure it's always perfect. See, now that I ruined the calibration, we're going to have to zero it out again. So that's why it's necessary that all of your doors are always closed, so no breeze is ruining the, ruin, ruining the uh, balance. See, I moved it too much. So make sure you're very steady with this. And, um, and that's how you prepare your analytical scale. And let's go back over there. And that's how you prepare your analytical scale before you start measuring substances. Now, before you start measuring substances, it's always necessary that you wear protection. So safety goggles are always necessary. Safety uh, gloves are sometimes necessary, depending on what substance you are dealing with or when Mrs. Udeshi yells at you to. Now get out of the way, right? <laughs> So we're going to measure uh, 0.234 grams of NaCl. Go. So now that we've uh, zeroed out our scale, we are going to weigh out, oh, 0.7 grams of NaCl. 
So we're going to start scooping in. 0.1284. I think I keep going quite a bit more. Several large scoops going on here. Oh, oh, almost there. So we're going to start with smaller scoops. Going on a little bit longer. Seven four. I have to take a little bit out. Seven oh seven. We're going to say that that's pretty good for measure. But you should have the exact measurement that that you're asked for, which was point seven. So if I were to keep going, it would be a little bit less salt. So rem so remember that you should always have exact measurements. And that's how you measure substances with the analytical balance. Ah. Hello, Alan. How about we see how much you know about the tabletop balance? I'll be glad to. So, as always, as Ryan mentioned, always safety first. Safety is our number one priority. That's why we have the goggles. Before we use the tabletop balance, we gotta make sure it's plugged in first. So let's see. I just plug in. So let's turn it on. We're waiting for it to turn on. During the process of turning on, this thing, as you can mention, looks like a UFO. And in order to use it, you gotta open it, like how you open a UFO. For tabletop balance, we use only weight paper. Why not? Why not we use the weight boat? You said. You ask. As you could tell. It won't fit, first of all. I'll give you wrong measurements since the air is going to come in and mess around with your measurements and then it'll throw off your calibration. And also Mishidashi is going to be mad if you use Weibo. So moving on. So that's how you prepare the tabletop scale. Now move over, Alan. <laughs> it's time for me to show you how to Measure substances with this scale. So now we are going to insert our weigh paper, close the lid, and zero the scale. We are now going to measure out 0.7 again of our NACL. So we're going to go with a sizable scoop and see how much it gives us. <laughs> close the lid. You don't want any air getting in. 0.362. We're going to need a bit more than this. A few more greens in. We're good. Little bit of difference is okay. Oh, there it goes. 0.7 exactly. And that's how you measure substances with the tabletop balance. Very good. You've all passed scale training procedure and are now ready to do it yourself. Now go, do it! <laughs>